Hello, I'm Rabbi Elton from the Great Synagogue in Sydney and welcome to From the Rabbi's Bookshelves. The first book I want to look at in this series is, is this one here. This is Radak on Psalms. Now Radak is an acronym for Rabbi David Kimchi. He was a rabbi and scholar and grammarian who lived in Provence in France in the 12th and 13th century, born in 1160, so that's about 55 years after Rashi dies, the great commentator Rashi dies. So he's essentially a, a contemporary of Maimonides, the great philosopher and, uh, and jurist who was active in um, Spain and the land of Israel and then Egypt. And he's influenced by his own family, a distinguished rabbinic family of uh, grammarians and scholars, and also philosophically by Maimonides and others. And his commentaries on particularly the books of the prophets and the book of Psalms and also the book of Genesis are, are very significant and widely studied. And this is an addition of his commentary to the book of Psalms. And I want to look at his comments on the 29th Psalm. We sing this Psalm on a Friday night as part of the service and also on Shabbat morning when the Torah is put back in the ark. And uh, the text is very interesting and powerful and includes such lines as this. Hashem owes the Amoyitein, Hashem Yibarech, Ethnov Shalom. The Lord gives strength to his people, the Lord will bless his people with peace. That's the way the psalm concludes. An earlier line such as, Kol Hashem Bakach, Kol Hashem Bahadar, the voice of the Lord is powerful, the voice of the Lord is full of majesty or splendor or glory. And the Radak understands that this whole psalm refers to the day, the time when the Torah was given on Mount Sinai. That was the time when the voice of God emanated from the mountain, when the Ten Commandments and the Torah was given with power, with might, with splendor, with glory. And this whole psalm in the Radak's understanding is a description of uh, this uh, momentous day on Mount Sinai. And I want to share with you just a couple of uh, remarks he makes. I quoted to you the, the last line, Hashem owes the Emoyitain, God gives strength to his people. And the Radak says, Ein owes Ela Torah. The word owes, the word strength or might, always refers in some sense to Torah. Torah is the source, is the origin of all power, of all might in the world, and therefore this is a reference to the giving of the Torah. And he says, Hashem Yivarechatim of Shalom, he says, when the Jewish people observe the Torah, that will be a time when there's no war when Jews will be spared from any conflict or violence or war, which reflects, I think, an old rabbinic teaching that the whole Torah only exists really for the purpose of peace. And so the Radak sees this final line, strength on the one hand, power on the one hand, and peace on the other, as being the summation of the purpose of the giving of the Torah, and therefore the psalm which, re which records and celebrates the day the Torah was given on Mount Sinai. Thanks for joining us.